obviously you guys, the city, the team, the organization, you guys miss Russell Wilson this year. He departs. He goes to the Broncos. What is your what is your thought process like? Because obviously you didn't win a Super Bowl with Russ, but you knew the city did. Right, but you knew what Russ brought to that city, to the team. Uh, you played with your first four years with him. Now you have Geno Smith. When you talked about the leadership, veteran leadership, that's, from my understanding, that's a lot of leadership. That's a lot of veteran leadership um, that leaves that locker room. Inserts Geno Smith. What is the expectations of that locker room? Because, like I said, Russ, that's a big voice. Right. That's a big void that that yeah. needed to be filled. Um, we are, we now know that Gino filled that void. Um, take us through kind of like that process of you know Russell leaving. Here comes Gino Smith. The expectations, and then what you guys did with with Gino this year. Um, well, after Russ left, of course, that's a big missing void with one his play, <laughs> right? Two, that's what his I'm leadership. Yes. And three, just his presence overall. Presence, yeah. So how I looked at it was Gino played three years behind Russ, so mm-hmm. he sat in the room with Russ. Yep. He knows how Russ thinks. He knows how Russ talks. I'm thinking he's about to try to emulate make, emulate <laughs> Russ. Right. Mm-hmm. He didn't do that not one time. Interesting. Gino Smith did stuff his own way. And I think it, there was a little childish aspect um, his first three years to where he knew he was the backup so he could – like chill a little bit, mm-hmm. but every when we traded Russ, Gino flew down here, and we were throwing, mm-hmm. and I can tell just by looking in his eyes, he was like, "It was different." He's locked was in. Different. He, was yeah, he was locked in. He was ready. Mm-hmm. Like I was like, "Okay, this is a different Gino than I'm I'm used to." Because my first three years, Gino, me and Gino would talk about the scouting report because he'd been in the league for right. seven seven years already, and we played the Redskins, and I would be like, "Hey, bro, what you think about so and so, so and so?" All right, yeah. He'd give me like tidbits of information on what he saw on film. But now just going into training camp and he's the first one out there and first one at the facility, he's watching film. Mm-hmm. Nobody's he's not talking. So he's just really? had his head down working. Roles and Love responsibilities it. have changed. Love it. Week eight, he gave us a pregame speech. Mm-hmm. And you could just see everybody just locked in on him because they seen how how much he's matured and changed yeah. and he wasn't the same Gino. He was like, this is my team now. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all going to listen. I've, mm-hmm. I've put in the work and I've put in the time to to where I've I've stapled my, my name yeah. uh, in Seattle. And j- he just yeah. – everybody just started to respect him. You know yeah, what's great about crazy. that, though? You said about week week eight. Mm-hmm. He could have did that week one. But mm-hmm. You guys hadn't gained the respect yet. You had or hadn't given him that respect yet. Because yeah. week one, everybody want to see. Okay, you can do that in preseason. That's right, cool. yeah. But I got to see you come out here and ball at Cons- least four or five right. games. Consistency. And you, you get to midseason and he for him to sit do in that, the pocket. that's awesome. Like, we would watch highlights. And the balls that he would throw just sitting in the pocket taking the hits while he know he about to get smashed. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. the ball would be a dime. Yeah. And be like, that's, that's crazy. And he's still coming in the next morning. He's yep. early getting work, but he's still out there. Um, during walkthrough and Dylan, they was like, Gino, calm down. You got a certain amount of reps. He was like, no, I, I'm, I'm out here at walkthrough. I'm throwing the ball today. I want all the reps. Yeah, exactly. So I'm <laughs> like, okay, that's that's like different because I ain't never seen him act like that or, or yeah. do that or take that type of leadership yeah. until last year. And my hat goes off to him because he, awesome. he did it his Gino way. Smith. Yeah. Keep yep, doing yep. your thing, boy.